Hi everybody, welcome to DIY Dream Weddings UK. Uh, my name's Kim. Um, yeah, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm so sorry I haven't been here for a little while. I've been on holiday, so yeah, it's been a few weeks or so since I've done my last video. Um, so what I thought I'd do is just um, basically show you how to make these flowers um, in detail. And then what, what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll show you another project. Um, I'm just in the in the midst of trying to work out what project I'm going to do. But with this one, it's like a hanging wedding bouquet, in case you don't know. This is um, with the bride and groom's initials on, okay. And uh, on the back, um, I've decided to do more flowers on the back. I just thought, oh, that would be really nice to have them on the back as well. So I'm making more flowers for that. So at the moment, what I thought I would do, I don't know if I'll show you... I'll probably just do a reveal for this. So what I'll do is I'll come back and I'll show you how it looks when I'm holding it up um, when I finished it. OK, I won't I probably won't come back and do another part to these this project because it's, it's almost finished. And I don't think you really want to see me putting the flowers on again. It's just repeating what I did on this side. OK, so anyway, let's stop talking and let's bring in the um, the um, materials for this flower so I'm going to make this flower and as you can see you can make it in any colour you want really and if all you need is some craft foam okay so these are lovely lovely pretty flowers okay um, so yeah while I'm doing this just in case you don't know I create bespoke wedding bouquets and connect with you online to create the bouquet of your dreams so these are all different wedding bouquets that I've designed okay so um, what I'm going to do is I've got this template which I've made out of cardboard sort of thin card and I'm going to draw around it with a wooden skewer so I'm just going to indent this this craft foam which you can buy anywhere really online and uh, you might be able to get it in your local craft store as well so it's just an ordinary crafts, uh, craft foam okay there we are. So I'm going to just indent the foam like this. So I've indented that and I'm going to just cut that out. OK, so I'm just going to cut that out with my scissors, my blue scissors. So I use different scissors for different materials. OK, and uh, just cut that. And what I like to do, I like to cut it, but I like to cut it inwards a little bit around where the petals are. So it has it has this little bit. Um, cut inwards so that um, it curls better on the when I iron it when I put it on the iron okay so it, it helps the petals to fold inwards more okay so I'm just gonna you'll know what I mean when I do it just cut the around this cut it out okay so I like to cut all my pieces out first for these flowers when I'm doing them in, in a batch so I've done these lovely they're um let me the middle part of the flower so that's a stamen okay so what we do with these so I'm going to make one of those is what I normally do is I cut a length or so of the craft foam and then um, I just cut cut basically horizontally along like this just to make the stamen and if you want you can heat it on the iron which gives it like a kind of a 3d effect like i did with these ones so if you have a look at if i show you these they kind of look a little bit you know they're kind of brought up a little bit and you can kind of then when you bend them round you bend them round with this sort of this piece kind of sticking out if you know what i mean so bend it away from where the way that it's heated so i'll show you what i mean when i actually well, as I'm doing this so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug my iron in and I'm going to turn it up okay and I'll put this against the iron and while I'm doing this my glue gun is busily heating up so I can assemble this flower and um, yeah I've done quite a lot of these flowers like I showed you on here on this bouquet and I've also done a different one with heart with um hearts you might have seen that in the last in the last video okay so what i'm going to do now is just put so this iron is up to maximum and um it all depends on what iron you've got and what materials you're using as to how high you have your iron i like to have it on max when i'm making videos because 
you can see the effect. So that hit hits the flower like that. Okay, we want two of these. We've got we need two. And I do the same with the stamen. I just put it on the iron like that. Okay, actually I've got one already cut out, so that'll be all right there. Okay, and then that curls up and gives you that lovely effect. Don't do it too small. I've done that a little bit small because it's harder for you to roll it round if you do it too small. Okay, so we do this one as well. And the, yeah, be careful how long you leave these on the iron because they shrink. They shrink as they're heating up. Okay. Okay, that's it. That's that one. So there we are. And that's, that's that lovely shape that you've got there. And like I said, this has got a little bit small. It's got a bit small. So be careful how long you leave it on the iron for. Okay. Um, it all depends how small you want it <laughs> as to how long you leave it on there for. Um, yeah, still recording. I thought we'd stop recording then. So what I might do with that one is swap it over because it's a little bit small. But you really want it to be like that sort of thing. Okay. So it all depends on the effect you want. So I'm just going to move that back over here. Um, sorry about the table look wobbling. I'm just going to unplug that there. And I'm going to put these together. So like I said, this is a bit more fiddly. So I'm going to do it like this, just so you can see what I mean. So we're folding that away from how, sort of like, so that the bend, away from the bend, like that. Okay, so we're going to just put some glue on, on there. This is hot glue I'm using. Be careful if you use hot glue. Um, I, I normally would... I normally would use a, if you can see the difference between this and this, this hasn't been heated as much. I think it's quite warm in the room and I think that really has added to the, um, has added to the uh, heat of the iron a little bit. So we just turn it, just curling that inwards and just gluing that down. Okay, and you can sort of see that effect coming round as we're curling that round for our stamen here. Okay. Okay, so yeah, um, let me know what you think about this video if you come on. Um, maybe you've been away. I've, I've been away to uh, Croatia, which has been lovely. Um, we did a little tour around Croatia. There we are. So um, we're going to stick these two together. So what I like to do with this is I like to, let's just move this in a little bit so you can see a bit more. I like to um, just put my glue in the middle of this flower like this and then just stick the other one on like that, okay. The other one might have been a bit small to put the stamen in is what I'm saying, so that would have been a bit fiddly to put the stamen in that one so that's why I, I decided to change so then we just put some glue on there and then just put that in the middle like that okay so and that's your lovely flower for your um for your bouquet and like I said for this this one here let's just go back a bit um for this one here, I'm going to put uh, flowers on the back, whereas with the other bouquets I haven't done that, so I'll be just putting those on. And what I'll be doing first, like I did with the other one, is I'll be placing these on and then sticking them down so that I know roughly where I want those to be. So if you want to see um, how I do that, you can go back and look at my um, other video on um, initial wedding bouquet okay so um, yeah so that I know it's a very short video but I am coming back and I'm thinking about Disney themes and all sorts of things and it's I'm wondering what to do next so if you've got any ideas for a little project to do next let me know if there's anything you'd like to see um, otherwise um, enjoy your, the rest of your week and I might I'll probably will be back with more soon I just really wanted you to know that I've not gone anywhere and I'm still here okay then so don't forget to put that press a like and comment below if you like 
the, the videos that you see and remember you can subscribe and get regular notifications when um, I put new videos on as well. Okay then, bye bye for now. Take care. Thanks for all your support.